All right, I think I'm re-live now at 1080p. Nice. Nice. I think my internet now, I shouldn't, because before I was always dropping some frames and that would be annoying. Like, oh, my brother's doing something. Now there's none of that. All my internet, better internet as well. It's going to be good. I think 4K bitrate is enough to run 1080p. Could probably do the split cam thing again now. I'm sure I could support that. Oh yeah. <laughs> I now support split cam. Yeah. Well, my internet struggled <laughs> oh, a bit great. trying to watch Karen's stream and stream yeah, at the same time where my internet yeah. was a bit dodgy. Now I think I can support it again. So the return of the split the cam. The return. Real. The uh, grim stroke. I love to see it. Is that? I, I played a game recently in ranked where we were losing quite hard, right? I think I don't know if it was a Tidehunter game. I don't know if anyone saw me play that. Remaining. I was playing ranked um, Tidehunter. And the game was going really badly. Uh, and then I remembered we had Lich Grimstroke on our team. And they turned up to a team fight. And guess what? Everybody died. <laughs> so I don't know if the Grimstroke is like a counter pick to the Lich. Or they were just thinking of it anyway. No, I, I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. it's. I think people forgot about that combo. Because for a while, every ranked game I played, or every game was always a Lich Grimstroke support combo. Uh, it's still insanely strong, but anyway, they're on different teams. Dire team pick. There are so many heroes that are strong with Grim Stroke, but I mean, you don't necessarily have to have something that clicks on people. It's still reasonable to support. It's anyway. true. It's interesting to first pick, though. But... The reason I liked Lich is because Grim Stroke and Lich are two supports, and yet they have the damage to wipe basically a whole team. So yes. they can run around as a pair and Ten almost win a, really. like a two v three. They can win by themselves. Uh, double chain frost bounce around while we had the tide ravage really. holding everyone in place. Oh, beautiful. Uh, Doom is not a surprise though. We see him pretty much every game now. Uh, pro scene, pubs, ranked games, in houses. Radiant team man. He just doesn't particularly get countered by things, and doesn't. Okay. He just kind of does a Doom thing every time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he just he just beats him. Has Brex taken a book out of Jack S's library? No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I've been paid. You've gone up too far. <laughs> no, no, we've teared up from Caucasian books to I realised as soon as I said it, I, thought, I was like... It's fine, um, I covered you. <laughs> um, by, um, you know, picking, like, you know, Void early, like, basically just the carry early. Well, I did mention that last time when they picked Snapfire first, because Snapfire goes so well with Void, you might as well just pick Void early. Um, I think Void is one of those heroes who's not only meta, he does so well against so many heroes that you might as well just pick him. Doom is pretty good against Void. If he can get the Doom off before Faceless Void ults, you don't have to worry about Void at all, basically. Can't time walk damage. I, he, uh, he can bash because it's not broken, but um, yeah, it's... I don't know, we'll see. It'll be an interesting matchup. It's a pass five Grimstroke, though. It's... Like, it's not one of those scary lanes, like a Ricky Grimstroke lane that can actually kill things. Face destroyed just... Grimstroke's alright, isn't it? You just time walk in and Ten get the stun, maybe really some mean. bashes. High base damage. Yeah, okay, so we're, we're right. relying on bashes. <laughs> well, it's it's an alright lane. It's not Ricky. Ricky is... I saw it in a pro game. Oh, it's brutal. Yeah, I think they're a lot more scarier combos, but... <clears throat> well, it's a good thing that Radiant didn't take the Grim because of the Lich Grim. Yeah, so... I like Grimstroke. I know his win rate's gone down a lot, but I never go, ah, oh, we've got a Grimstroke. That sucks. He, his skills are great. Ten seconds so, remaining. Yeah, he's good. I played with the Grimstroke in ranked. He went 4 0 4 0. At level 8. Remaining. That was his build. 4 0 4 0. Yeah, he'd okay. maxed, he'd maxed the Paintbrush, whether it's Stroke of Fate and Ink yeah. Swell. No, no, it's no paintbrush. Yeah, Paintbrush. <laughs> paintbrush and Swirl. I say that. I say that. And though. he didn't. The, the, was it called the Phantom? Phantom Embrace. Yeah, no Phantom Embrace and no Soulbind. And I was like, hmm, that's an interesting <laughs> skill build. It is very... Did it work? Uh, no, we lost horribly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think, to be fair, I don't think it was his fault. Radiant team pick. Uh, <laughs> okay, great. now that does go well with Void, because Void Chronos, you pick a target, you throw the Skyrath ult. What is it? 1500 damage at max rank? It's insane. It's just completely bonkers. And Brex has been doing something recently as support uh, Zeus, and I think he'll do it on Skyrath. This is my prediction, if it's Brex Skyrath. He will buy a Veil quite early. He'll rush a Veil of Discord, because it's only 1,500. So he's seeing it as a very cheap early to buy item, which, you know, helps a lot. I think it's a good pickup. Uh, that's my guess, anyway. 
Why is everyone in my chat so desperate for Underlord? I'm not sure. Because they like to know that someone's not doing much in the game. There's no Tim though. They're just existing. <laughs> Tim likes to exist. <laughs> Odds that the next pick is Underlord. Sand Charlie's predicting Sand King. I actually think that's more oh, like well, our... Well, there is Miles. Yeah, I feel like that's more... Uh, more chance to happen based on the people here. Um, you know, um, is it Open Dota? Was it Strats? One of those websites? You know, it has like a hero ranking for like yeah. what rank you are on a hero. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. So one of the that. coaches in the Dota University was rank one Underlord. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, really? But that is rank one, like quite a boring hero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. But still, rank one's pretty cool. Rank one is pretty cool. We'll see, we'll see. I mean, they're running out of reserve time already. We're only on the third pick, and they're down to 20 seconds. Team pick. Pudge. Oh, I love a pudge. Pudge? Okay. I another sick pudge last night. Unreal. You did. Yeah. Pudge God. It's that persona. It's the persona. I mean, it brings out the inner child in me. I played against a pudge in ranked, and he went 7 0, like 10. He was so. He was absolutely wow. dominating. Um, but then he still lost the game. So he, oh, like, F. Pudges are <laughs> kind of, they have to keep doing well the whole game. It's it's a very high skill role because you could do well in the, uh, in the laning phase and then be useless in team fights, Or you can be useless in the early game and then you're useless the whole game. So <laughs> we'll see if, if see if Veteran can, can keep up. I'm guessing it's Veteran because he played it last time. It's either Veteran or there is the classic Ross Pudge. Um, I know that Ross Oh, likes yes, it, but... yes. It is the Ross patch. I forgot about that. Yeah, I've already seen that once, though, in this in-house. This before. is another Roids Lena, isn't it? Radiant it's it's radiant always Roids Lena. I think so. Yeah. Wraith King? Okay, Wraith King. Um, Wraith King is a common... I think Veteran and I talked about this, actually. What do we pick against Void? Wraith King's pretty good, because you don't want to chrono a Wraith King. Because then when he comes back to life, he'll just obliterate you. So... <laughs> So that's actually quite a nice pick. He doesn't have to worry about the Chrono. The rest of his team do, because they're all going to get killed by it. Um, Pudge is actually quite good against Chrono, because even though Chrono stops time, a fat man with a hook can take you out of it, which makes sense. But there you go. Pudge is a good counter to Chronosphere. Underlord banned. Ah, oh, sorry, chat. They banned Underlord. <laughs> no Underlord last pick for you. Clever bands. I wonder if they'll pick even more heroes to synergize with the Chrono. Ten seconds remaining, team ban. There's not a massive amount of engage on the Radiant. I guess they're relying on... You can't rely on Pudge to get a hook, right? I guess Pudge can blink in, but he can only really disable one target. So I wonder if they'll pick yeah. someone else who can engage these fights. Or... Hmm. Well, they need, the, they need the mid then, unless Ross is doing some like Pudge mids. Possibly, I don't know. True, they need a mid pick. The other team have, have thought that Pudge is going to be support because they're banning Void Spirit and they probably will ban another mid hero. Um, I don't think you want Storm Spirit in this game because he's just going to get obliterated by Skyrath, faces Void, hard lane against Lina. Ross is on that team. I'm predicting Sniper. There you go. That's sniper. my prediction. Sniper, yeah. Ross loves Sniper, and he thinks he's oh, good God. enough at positioning that he'll be able to stay away from the Void. And it's quite good against Lena. It's okay against Lena in lane. It's probably about 50-50 lane. That's my prediction. I think Puck would be reasonable. Ten oh, true. It's a good call. Something that can... Uh, yeah. Something that like Five can somehow avoid ready. being bursted by... Because, I mean, you're going to die either by being silenced Three by Skyrat. Uh... Chronosphere, which you can't do anything about, or Lena's going to try and use it. Oh, partner. Okay. okay, I was wrong. Interesting. Um, uh, Decrepify. Uh, the yeah. Nether Ward is very good against Skyrath. Skyrath. It's quite good yeah. against Lena, because Lena's ult is about 500 mana as well. So, okay. Pugna. Uh, another Dire. What are they going to... What do they need? They need an offlane. And they're quite a squishy lineup at the moment, so they need someone very durable. Centaur? Yeah, that's why they banned Underlord in there. Tidehunter, yeah. <laughs> And Magnus is banned, so a lot of strength here is banned. Uh, I think Centaur. Yeah, it could, could be Centaur. That's my I prediction. I think this would be... Hmm. How bad is a Bristol? There you go. I... <laughs> I, Bristol could be fine. Uh, they have enough crowd control probably with... Or maybe they wanted yeah. a bit more? They wanted a bit more out the Chrono. 
feel they, like it's gonna end up being like long drawn out fights. It's I not yeah. The radiant. It, I, I, I would have liked to have had something that was carrying a uh, a spirit vessel it's like more naturally than any of those heroes. <laughs> Pugna can buy spirit vessel. It's fine. I don't. No, uh, for the dire. Oh, for the dire, right? So oh, to counter the Pugna. To counter the huge boys in the Pugna. Wraith King, Pudge, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> Wraith King, Pudge, Doom. <laughs> Lena is not... Uh, you're right. They don't have a, an obvious count. Lena could build it, definitely. It's not the greatest Lena item, but it can work. Sheba's Guard. He doesn't want to go back for a, <laughs> there's also, a damage item. <laughs> there's also Sheba's Guard and um, Eye of Skadi if they're looking for specifically anti-healing. let us skirmish. my weak and puny allies where I can. butchery. Ooh, ooh. Right, should we try having that multicam going? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See if we can get it to work um, again. After over two months of it yes. being decommissioned. Decommissioned. I'll put my stuff lower. <laughs> Seeing it's only small. Prepare for battle. Yes. <laughs> See if I remember how to do this. Good. <laughs> Oh god. Whoa. What um I'm lagging a little. What resolution are you using this? It's, uh, it's, it's uh, I put it on, I put it at four eighty, it's the lowest I can go. Is it too low? It looks a bit low to me. Yeah. Okay. To, to me it looks like it's like a hundred. Oh <laughs> <laughs> like it's so I, grainy. I try and put it a higher one. Yeah, yeah, a little bit higher if that's okay. How do I <laughs> I need to stop? Alright, that's 720, that's the highest, that's the normal I can go. That is the normal. Let's have a look. Look at stream. Yeah, that looks good. Let's see if my... Uh... <laughs> Brex just placed a, a ward down. Catch him out here. I, I think. They already know that he captured... I mean... He's put that ward he's down. Very dead. Very obvious. Yeah, he's dead. Goodbye, Brex. We've got this time. <laughs> They've got four heroes, isn't it? Right, they're going right. aggressive on Let's now. click the Karen cam. <laughs> no, Is that going to work? Oh, it works! Yeah, they... Radiant... I think, yeah. Radiant definitely that know that Brex plays the ward there, so... Nice and easy, uh... Gold. Oh, it's quite laggy, the cam. Yeah, got two runs of feet, though. It is. I think... Right, do you know what I'm going to do? Anyone miss me? <laughs> yeah, it's quite laggy. We're, 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 we're configuring it. Yeah. I might close. I might just close five. Hours. So I'll not have your stream open. Oh, that's that better. Way? Yeah, yeah, that's better. That's fine. <clears throat> cool. Back with the split camp. Um, funny enough, this is something I suggested to people um recently, and it's it's good that they've taken on the advice and tried it. I said, um, okay, if you know you're gonna lose the rune fight in one lane, you know the bounty rune. Just send, five. just we'll send the other four to the out to one lane, and that's exactly what they've done. And they've got first blood. And I think yeah. Ross is is Drekken playing. No, he's not. Oh, he is playing. Yeah, he's and he's on the team that won. You know, he is the person I was talking to about yeah. it. And I reckon he's told his team, right? Let's do that. And there you go, bam, first blood. That is exactly when they did that. That was exactly the conversation that I remembered as well. Perfect. Oh. Cool. So they're listening. They're trying out new things. It's, it's great. It's what we like to see in these in houses. Maybe we can take it into rank. Because um, you know Doom, he's a very, very useless level 1 hero. Like, probably one of the most useless, unless he levels something other than Devour, which he doesn't want to. So, uh, do you know also what I've been doing on Doom that I've, I saw from a pro game? I've been standing here, right here, right at the beginning, and as soon as the creep wave spawns, Devour a creep. So you get the cooldown as low as possible. Uh, and you also get the solo XP on the ranged creep. That's what I've been doing. Uh, I, saw, I think I saw a pro player do it, and I kind of uh, copied it. From that. Oh yeah, Nat was the Rubik player, but he's gone to pause one this time, on the faceless void. Have we seen him play pause one? I think he's not been in a lot of in houses. I think we've only seen him play uh, Rubik. Yeah. Wasn't there that game where it Ooh. was disconnected? Missed the kill top. Um, and he was doing quite well. Was he cook or mid? Something he was anti mage that game. Oh, anti I think that's yeah. the one where he just got completely disconnected, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. I don't think I've seen Miles play Doom. 
But he's an offlane hero, and you know, that is Miles' speciality, so we'll see. Now, the way Royds is playing mid, Lina, not taking stun to level 4, that's how I always played Lina mid, always, and I thought that is the way to play. But then I watched some pro games play Lina, and they did actually take Light Strike Array level 1. Oh, Christian, bottom, he is so dead. Oh, okay, I just saw Brex kill a courier, which is normal, but they've, they've taken three heroes here. Very normal. Was that a rotation? I wasn't paying enough attention. Uh, Max died, so he went bot. Ah. Oh, so it's the typical um, die, go to another lane, and they're like, well, who called, didn't call missing? Oh, well, he died. <laughs> I am definitely guilty of that. Oh, and that gets the courier with like, the longest attack range I've ever seen. It was like a 400 attack range hit. They're going to stun Miles. They're not going to kill him. Well, are they? They got a stun? Oh, yeah. That's a huge paintbrush. Actually, it's level 2 stroke of fate. 180 base damage. How much damage does that do? 30 bonus, oh, but it doesn't scale very well in damage. It's More chance. Lot, <laughs> the chance goes up, that's the important yeah. thing, right? Was it 4% chance? Yeah, 4% chance. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, no. They they again, yeah, they, they're still running a trident. Where's the rot? Here it is. Oh, big crit, 216 already. <laughs> Huge. Okay, that's a killing spree for Ross, so he's happy. Also farming well in his lane, 10 denies. Oh, goodness. See, the, the last thing you want is Ross farming very well, to be honest. Like, because people should expect him to do like really well. No, he is getting a little bit dominated in CS. Hope Max can get that hook up. <clears throat> Better and even. Oh, I heard the sound of the hook. Yes, me too. Where's he at? I, oh, assume, I assume it didn't work because he got tipped. Oh. <laughs> he's walking away from mid. Uh, he's the poorest tipped, he so. he's, <laughs> he's not yeah, using the was... skin, the cosmetic. The, was it a persona or is it an arcane? Yeah, persona. Persona. Because it completely changes. He has like 4,000 different things to plug on the side of Punch because he doesn't want to lose them. <laughs> Oh, this may be a kill. Right, gonna go for it. Gonna oh, go for it. missed light strike oh. array. Do they have vision of him? Let's have... No, the die cannot see him. He's going to just take the bounty runes. Or not. He's going to look at the bounty rune. No, he's going to take it. Veterans have very much wanted to get hooked, but he didn't. Yeah. Quite. He didn't quite feel oh. confident enough. Oh, just oh. yoinks it from Royds. Oh. Rip haste. Royds. Haste has run out. Yeah, but he's still dead. Yeah. yeah, he's very, yeah. very, very dead. Level two. It was a weird change for Pudge not letting him deny himself because it was a core part of the hero for so long. It really annoyed me when that happens, though. Yeah. It's like, come on. Yeah, it's, it's, it wasn't too bad when it was like, oh, you, you're you like 50 HP and you've just denied yourself. But when you're like killing him and. Like, yeah, he still gets uh, away. Yeah, that is annoying. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, hook. Veteran like... TP's top immediately hooks Tom. I don't think he's going to get away. There's the rot. There's a doom smacking him with a sword. Tom is quite fast, actually. He's already got boots, and yeah. Veteran does as well, though, so he'll kill him. That was immediately TP hook. Okay, Veteran is making some, some work happen. He has died, but as soon as he dies, he goes and does something useful in another lane instantly. So he always redeems himself. Yeah, I think they're uh, undying to pay a bit more attention to it when Pudge has just become alive again. Yeah, because he literally respawns, TP's in, gets killed. <laughs> I wonder if Miles is going to take a rank of Infernal Blade a bit earlier this game. Because last time I think he went the 4-4-0. Four, 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 but I like Infernal Blade, I think it's nice to have that mini stun. He's taking quite a lot of damage and that is a Bash Lord. Okay, a little bit uncoordinated with the Ink Swell, but not to worry. Now oh. there are two wards on top of one another. Oh, basically on the bot lane. I don't yeah. know if either of them noticed that they were Love placed. <laughs> One. It doesn't look like it. Well, neither, no, of them it have sen neither of them have sentries. Drekken has a ring of Basilius and two mangoes. You need to see oh, another mango. No. Oh. oh, he's gonna. Okay, he wants to give the kill to Ross. But then he has to see another mango to finally get the kill with the Frost Blast, which he probably could have just done initially. Going on top? Yeah, I think he he's fine. He's already got phase boots with that Smiles, so he's pretty quick. But it gives how much? 20% move speed for 3 seconds. That is plenty to get away. 
That's adding, I think, 66 move speed. Which is quite a lot. Yeah, Oli is really struggling with CS in this lane. They can see that Ross is quite low as Wraith King because of that ward. I wonder if they'll try it, although he is sick. Yeah. But you want to take the ult down quickly early game. It's got a 200 second cooldown, so it's even longer than three minutes. Pulled his lane. If you want something done, do it yourself. They're pulling his own lane. Well, all the supports have gone roaming around. <laughs> Because Pudge is, Pudge is top lane, and Draken is kind of hovering around mid. Could have stacked a camera. I don't know if he was busy doing something else. Didn't actually see myself. The Radiant's bottom tower has seen better days. Oh, it looks like they're going in top. Is Roy just here for a gank? They missed the stroke of fate on both heroes. That's unfortunate, Tom. But I think they're going to get away. Veteran's looking for a hook. But they're being a bit careful. How much does Stroke of Fate slow by anyway? 60%? Oh, it only lasts 1.5 seconds. Big slow, short time. Can Boots have traveled first on Lena? I think he did this before. You're, you're yeah. not supposed to, but most players get Yules first. But he likes to yeah. go literally instant travels if he's having a good game. And his farm is pretty good. He's done a lot of fighting, that's why it's not like as high as it maybe could be. You may be thinking about hit, trying to hit 5k in mid in a passive game. <laughs> oh, it looks like they did get a kill top on Faceless Void, who was level 6 and had Chrono. And time will come. Yeah. That's a really good time to get a kill because he was building Midas and oh, he's yeah. only about 100 gold from it. It's happened again, Tom. They've both got wards over the top of one another. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Where's the rewarding? I mean, Brex is pos 4, I guess. So maybe early game, he doesn't want to be buying sentries. Oh, but... okay. Nice. Oh, I missed that. Better him. Yeah. Uh, well. Ollie got the, uh, Ollie gave him the suck and then Veteran just looked after him. <laughs> Ollie is playing a weird pug nerf style where he doesn't take any points of Decrepify, but Decrepify is a powerful slow and a massive magic damage. I'm 60% magic damage boost. But he would rather take the Nether Ward, which I can sort of understand. I feel like maybe one point Decrepify is good. They're trying to go on Doom Top. They're actually going to commit the Chrono for it, but he's so tanky. And of course, Faces Void, he does no damage early game when trying to go Midas. In fact, they still might oh, kill him there. A couple of good bashes. He's got no Decrepify, though. They're trying to go on Tom. No, I don't think Drekken will find him. Will Ollie get the kill? Yeah, he does still have... He has the damage to get the kill. I really think he should have gotten the point of Decrepify, because even one point is quite a lot of damage, quite a lot of slow. Rather than his weird 4-0-4. But I guess yeah. he really wants that nether ward. Yeah, it was it was sad there. They ran, they ran away with the uh, centaur roll, but Ollie had haste and just chased him down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ollie's going ether in his first item, which is fair enough. Yeah, he's, see, he's got that ward down. Veteran's here. Can't get the hook in, though. He's just going to go for the ult. I think you've got to be careful because his TP's. Ollie was a bit far away for some reason. Why didn't he go for the nether blast? I think that would have got the kill instead of the life drain, but maybe he thought not. Okay. There's a bit of miscommunication there because Ollie kind of went, didn't think Veteran was going to keep going. Uh, Ollie was ready to go out. <laughs> Veteran was ready to go in. Yeah. <laughs> they had different ideas. So Christian's got Max Delp like on Centaur, but doesn't have anything on Regen at the moment, so he can't use it too many times. I like maxing double edge, but I feel like if you want to do that, you need to buy a very early ring of health. Yeah. Not go, not go phase boots first item. <laughs> phase boots blink. Oh, no, they been planning on going it. That was interesting. They missed the hook on void, but they still got the doom on. Okay, they've missed the thunderclap as well. I think he's actually going to be fine. Yeah, they're both fine top. But doom, he's Wild. like, I'm strong. Good. Doom doesn't know when to start. <laughs> no, Veteran? No, Veteran hook? Yeah. Oh, but now there's some rotation. Brex is level 7. I think he's going to find the kill anyway. Out comes the center roll. Brex has one kill. Ooh, oh, misses the Dragon Slave. Hits the Laguna Blade. Wow, <laughs> Tanks a tiny gone? bit of Mystic Flare. He's still alive. No, he's finally going to go down. Okay, they do get the double kill. Unfortunately, Christian was killed in the bot lane. Um, that was so many ults. They didn't have to send four heroes there. 
Three. Ollie's illusion rune immediately destroyed by Roy's. He's fast, Roy's. He's got boots of travel already. <laughs> That's a max rank ward as well. He's going to get the kill on that. 80 gold. Because it, it goes up. It's 20 gold a level. That's how much it's worth. So already worth a look. He is running at Ollie. But Drekken's here. And Drekken has Sinister Gaze. May use it. Yeah, there's a Sinister Gaze. Ollie a little bit slow into that uh, life. Oh, there's a lot of heroes have turned up. <laughs> but, I mean, Royds was... He spent a lot of time behind the tower. I, I don't know what he expected to happen. Maybe he just got too confident with the early travels. Do you trying to run down Grimstroke top? Have a look. I think he's dead. Oh, if he hadn't turned around for the paintbrush, he might have got away. Oh, this is an interesting build. Have a look at Miles' spill. He's not actually maxing Devour. So he's playing a more aggressive uh, fighting base build. Max Scorched Earth and an Infernal Blade point. Only two points Devour. Yeah, I like oh, it. Link. Um, there. Ross has also just got his Radiance. Oh, 13 minute Radiance on Wraith King. <laughs> look at his net worth. It's insane. You're right. His net worth is insane. And I hear Veteran. Finding himself yet another kill for Ollie. Yikes. Yeah, the Radiant already have quite a strong lead here, but I I'd never count the Dire out when they've got Faceless Void, because you can turn even the most fed heroes into just free kills. Maybe not Wraith King, though. But definitely you can kill Pugna, you can kill Lich. Um, don't know about Doom and Pudge, they are quite tanky. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, that's what you look at. Um... Look at the Radiant, you get like three of them in Bonusphere and you're going to kill one of them because it just takes so long to kill them. You've got the Skyrathal. If you really focused on Doom and Pugna, for example, you could bring them down. I like how three of the Dyer are in the Radiant jungle, just like taking it over. No, oh, sam has been I'll used. i say that. You're not going to kill Ross, I think. He is way too strong. 20 stick charges as well. Is there any hero who could buy a cheeky Diffusal Blade? Kill Ross before he's level 20? Probably not. A cheeky Diffusal Blade, very cheeky indeed. Yeah, diffusal Void or Diffusal Lena. Probably not worth it, right? Lena, I, I, Jesus! I've played, um, I've played Windranger against Medusa and I've gone Diffusal Blade. Because you burn a lot of mana. <laughs> <They're all. laughs> yeah, the silence goes straight onto Vettin. Royce does a lot of damage to himself with that Laguna Blade. It was like two thirds of his HP there. But he's still going to be fine. A solo chain frost. But they find a kill on Christian, so they're going to call it worth. Smoke out, here we go. Wonder if they're going to um, use it with Chrono. Set something up, make something happen. See, Nat's just farming, but he's going to struggle to keep up with Wraith King, who's already got Radiance. I mean, he's going to Midas, I guess. Midas but... is good, but I think the Radiance Rush is way better. And Ross, he's look, he's hiding in the trees. His Radiance was turned off. Big plays from him. He's found Royds. He's doing a lot of damage. Big crit, but Royds is so fast. He knows straight away, I can't chase him. He's, this Lena is rapid. One spell, and it's 464 move speed. After one spell. I don't know what three spells. It's probably haste, move speed. How much does yours give? 25? 20. Okay, it's not a lot. It's um, 20 as well because of the, the fiery soul stack talent. If it goes anyway. He is very fast. Okay, we've got a Chrono. Chrono instant Mystic Player on Doom. That is going to bring him down. Nice hook from Veteran. That is going to be Nat killed. Got the Grimstroke ult, but they don't have a lot to combo with it. Actually, double edge, that hits two people, but then Christian takes twice the damage. So wow. <laughs> he just almost instantly dies. Almost anti synergy there. And Tom gets found as well. I wasn't expecting that to happen, actually. But he just instantly took uh, about 800 damage to the face. I'm going to keep that in mind next time I double edge a Grimstroke target. Because, ow, that hurts. And Tom tried to deny himself to the neutral. Camp, but he yeah. never did. <laughs> that can found him. So it was a, the Chrono was good, and it instantly picked off Miles. So Miles didn't get Doom off, but unfortunately, then they immediately was yanked out of the the Chronosphere. Vet, veteran found that, and then they killed him. So yeah, really good play of Pudge this game.
I mean, I know he's died a little bit. His score is 3-5. <laughs> the three cores in his team. Well, three of the people in his team. 4-0, 4-0, But despite dying a lot, I feel like he has actually put in a lot of work. I mean, it feels like dying has almost helped him at some point. <laughs> Just let him go back to other lanes. Yeah, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Double edge hurts the centaur so much because you saw the ancient camp so much damage. They're going into the dire jungle. Miles, he's found Tom. He's chasing Tom down. Tom is going to get the stun off the ink swell, but Ollie's found him. Going to get the free kill. Oh, we've got the clumsy net, which sets up for a free hook on Brex. Who's got the clumsy net? Someone has a. Someone's clumsy netting. I'm not sure who it is. And now we're chasing Nat. We have used Doom on him. I think that's going to be a kill. Oh, Brex clumsy netted someone he else, comes, yes. which set himself up to be hooked. Okay. <laughs> he set himself up. Clumsy net is very good for a support Skyrath, though. Gives him, like, a budget ATOS. Yeah. Yeah, but if there's a punch in the game, that, <laughs> as we saw. Yeah, not the best time to use it. Well, Roy. for the next 450 gold till he has his own ATOS. <laughs> Ollie might have struggled in lane, but. Now he's doing pretty well. And his hero is a good pick against Lina. You see Roids cast one spell, and he's so low on HP, he has to go back straight away. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Oh. Drekken is 409 on this lich. Christian, Jesus. 50 Yeah, he's really trying to rush that blink. He's close to it again. He is pretty close, yeah. Oh, on AC on Wraith King. Oh, Radiant AC. It's like he's playing Alchemist. <laughs> the only build he knows. The Dyer's top tower is Moving that valuable mango into his inventory. In case he gets mana burned. Yeah. Oh, I hear a hook. They found Brex. They were waiting on the high ground. As soon as Brex placed down a sentry, they killed him. Reut is like, my team is struggling, so I'm going to split push a little bit. That's exactly what he's doing. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Ross has hardly been in any of these fights. He hasn't needed to be. His team are so strong even without him. And even without a neutral item. Oh, Ollie's got one now. Oh, thank God, <laughs> Ollie. seconds ago and I had a look because he didn't have a neutral item. Ollie never, has, never takes a neutral item unless you Does ping it. him and tell him to. Doesn't do they have a good core team, don't they? Like Pudge can easily get pickoffs. Lich has got a great ult. You've got the Doom, so you can instantly disable someone if you find them. Uh, and of course, Pugno brings in a lot of damage. So Ross can just happily farm by himself, and the rest of his team can just find free kills, which is exactly what they've been doing. It's been good rotations from the Radiant. Uh, net worth is already quite scary. Uh, 12k difference on the Radiant. Most of that Wraith King, he is, uh, how far is he ahead of Void? Over 6k gold ahead of Void. Brex, he's got the net, but he didn't use it. Maybe the net doesn't have long enough range. But Pugner is a fast hero. He's also got Boots of Travel, which I think is a good idea, because now you can keep up with Lina around the map. Yeah. So, I do like that. It feels a lot like... Uh... Dyer, they've got the right kind of heroes for rotating and ganking, but they've been trying to get the items before they do it. I'm not sure if it was the right decision. Been, I, I said they were waiting for Blink on Center, but he's still farming. Um, he's got <laughs> yeah, it now. Okay, he's got it. On the Scarif Mage. Yes. But like Grimstroke, Lena, like Lena with her boots of travel and their yours now, they could have been going around trying to make things happen. But it feels like it's uh, Radiant that have been making the plays, putting the pressure on them. Well, maybe we'll start to see something happen now that they've got the Blink and the and the Atos. Make some big plays happen. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Roach is about half. Yeah. Do they've doomed Royce. This is good. Oh, no. oh. Unlucky, what? Chrono. But what are they going to do now? Are they just going to run? I think they should run. I mean, Royce is doomed. Nice hook onto Nap. Okay, time walks away. Miles is a little bit by himself. I mean, Ross never had any intention of turning up to this team fight. He's just sitting in rows like, I don't care. You don't even need me. They literally don't need He's playing a single player game. Huh. Okay, the Dyer get out, but the Radiant, they don't need to commit anything. They've, they've got all of their ults apart from Doom. Uh, okay, fine. Some of their ults are very low cooldown or passive. I mean, they've got the Lich ult still, basically. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Uh. It has no that arms to defend itself. Papa Sag. 
But that's kind of the playstyle of Faceless Void. You're reliant so much on this big, really, really powerful ultimate. And if you miss it or it's not perfect, the hero's kind of a bit rubbish. Whereas Wraith King can just kind of wander around and do what he wants. Yeah, he misses the Centaur Stomp, but the Dyer still have to run. They know they don't want to fight this nice oh, hook. Christian is slowed too much by Ollie, 60% slow. That lasts 3.5 seconds, so it's quite a long time. Wow, he's got that East Lens long range. Are the hook coming out? They don't have vision inside the base, do they? Let's have a look at Radiant's vision. They can see Roids because he's casting spells on the edge. They can't see the rest of them. Ross is Ross has the Aegis even though he's playing Wraith King, so they're going to need to kill him a lot of times. He's just hit level 18, that means a 40 second cooldown. Hook? No, nice dodge, but Roids are still going to go down. I think this is looking a little bit GG. For the dire. Yeah, well, maybe not GG, but game is very, very hard, I would say. You know, it's not GG until someone has monitor issues or Ancient Falls. Yeah, one of the two. Thankfully, the Ancient Falls is the more common win condition. Indeed. I mean, Ross really does not care, does he? They're trying to go on Ollie. Oh, oh unfortunately, Miles got in the way. Best one was trying to save, but Ollie's still going to make Hi. it out on about 50 HP. So sad. I mean, Ross has BKB as well, and Aegis, and Azolt. He really doesn't care. They've also got Pugna, which means they can push more easily. So they've got a really good team for ending the game early. And Wraith King, he's a very good pick against Faces Void. I don't think he's even been in a Chronosphere. Just his existence is enough to deter Faceless Void. They're backing off now, but I don't think they have to. No, I, I agree. They, they could have just man fight, take all the towers. Yeah, I think they could have just like, got the wave top. And I mean, no one can kill Russ. I mean, maybe they can now because he's literally one versus four. Yeah, but he's got like three lines. He does, but this is still a bit silly. I and mean, that's yeah. going to be one death. That's going to be his reincarnate. Is he made yeah, enough time for to get there. Yeah. <laughs> BKB. Oh. Okay, he's got BKB. His team are close. I think Roy's may die here. He needs to be careful. Oh, the hook was right aim. Not enough distance. Oh, 732 damage. I mean, the problem with Centaur is he has a lot of health, but he doesn't have a lot of armor. You need to build armor on Centaur. That's why Phase Boots is popular, but he's still only on 10 armor, which is how much? 37% resistance. You need a lot more than that against Wraith King. Oh, Ollie found a kill. Managed to pick up Roy's. That is a big kill. With his Blink Dagger Aghanims, that's a zero second cooldown ultimate. It's 400 damage a second. Okay. 400 damage a second is more than Juggernaut's Blade Fury does with the talent. A lot of damage. And of course Pugna can amplify his own damage by 60%. And now they should just take the tower. They have nothing to be scared of. He has literally nothing to be scared of, Ross. Still got the Aegis. Being healed by Ollie they as well. Yeah. Just hit the tower. I mean, he didn't even lose ages from that. So, yeah, I don't think they can stop him. I think it's a little bit too late for the die. Look how much damage they're doing to Christian outside the base. Okay, they've used the glyph now. Ross would be like, yeah, fine. Take my reincarnation. Nice hook onto oh. Roids. He does get yours. Out comes Chrono. It gets three, but it doesn't get Ross. So Ross is just running around causing havoc. That was a good Mystic Flare. Nearly got a kill, but it still didn't. It's one of those, again, get around one HP. Ross just kicks Tom to death. And now surely it's GG. Yeah, there's yeah. the GG called. Called by Tom. Oh. Roids on a lost streak? Question mark? Well, I don't think he's on a lost streak, but he has definitely lost. It's very rare for him to lose a linear game, and he did really well in true, the lane. True, that is true. That is so, true. yeah, momentous occasion. I think it was actually really good drafting. Um, they went quite early into the Faceless Void. They had really good counters to it. Lich was good. You see Lich put the Frost Armor on someone. That means Void does very little damage. Pudge to hook people out. Wraith King so that he comes back to life twice. I mean, three of their team never died. Three of them. I mean, that's pretty insane. And yeah, that's probably one of our quickest games ever. What, 26 minutes? 
yeah. I think we're definitely going to get a second game after that. But uh, just good momentum from the Radiant and good.